Here's Morgan, to some Britannia was only a dog, to me the life and death of this American hero shows the true meaning of service. More specifically, a 16-year-old golden retriever named Britannia who died this week. It's not often that a photograph jolts me into quiet, reflective silence but the image of Britannia's last public appearance on Monday, minutes before she was euthanized, did just that. As she was gently led by her owner Denise Corliss into a veterinary hospital in Cypress, Texas, Britannia was given a guard of honor by a team of firefighters and search and rescue workers. They stood to attention in the blazing sun and saluted the tired, sick old retriever as she made her final journey. I wondered what had prompted such an extraordinary tribute. The truth was remarkable and profoundly moving. Britannia was the last surviving search and rescue dog sent into Ground Zero after the 9-11 attacks. It was her very first deployment. She went on to aid in many other searches after national disasters including Hurricanes Katrina, Ivan, and Rita. She lived longer and accomplished more than anybody, said Cypher Volunteer Fire Department spokesman Captain David Bidovan in an emotional statement. Then came 9-11. In the horror of the immediate aftermath of that terrible day, Britannia was one of the first 300 first responder dogs sent into the smoldering carnage. The conditions were appalling. But for 10 long, arduous, draining days Britannia worked 12-hour shifts rummaging through the rubble of Ground Zero. Her first role, of course, was to try to find survivors. Sadly, she found none. Her second role was to search for remains of those who had been killed. A third, surprising role soon emerged however, and that was to provide desperately needed solace to the firefighters and other emergency responders. Denise, who slept outside with Britannia after each shift, elaborated, they would come by to pet her and thank her, and so it became the unexpected role of therapy dog. The traumatized men and women would share their personal stories with Denise talking about missing or dead friends and colleagues, as they hugged and kissed Britannia. Britannia went on to have a nine-year career, often risking her life in the most dreadful of circumstances. On one occasion, Denise remembers watching her standing on the end of a dangling staircase. She walked to the edge of it and she stopped, turned and she came back down, she told CNN. She did exactly what she was supposed to do, but it scared me a bit. There were times when I held my breath and said, I hope she does this right, I hope she's okay. After her retirement from active service, Britannia continued working in local communities, demonstrating search techniques, aiding other dogs in their training and acting as a goodwill ambassador. Each week, she would go to an elementary school and help first graders with their reading. There have been many people, and indeed animals who have served their country gallantly during the 239-year history of the United States. Few, though, have contributed such unbelievable selflessness, courage, determination and true grit. Even fewer have been able to go about their difficult, exhausting, often helpless work in a way which brought such comfort to those suffering from terrible tragedy. Britannia was a great dog. She was also a great American, American.